Hey guys, welcome back to PC Building Simulator. It feels like it has been a long time, uh, to me at least. I don't know about you guys, it's been a little while I suppose since we have a PC Building Simulator video go out. Um, yeah, I don't know, I just got back from like a holiday break, like I've not been home for a long time, so there was some traveling, I back, I like try to like backload of it, backload? Uh, you know, do like a big backlog of videos, so I had some stuff going up, so uh, it feels like it's been forever, but we're here, we're back, in Peace of Building Simulator, best game ever, with the best soundtrack ever, and I'm so glad we don't have to listen to the Christmas music like last time, when we built this, the Christmas themed PC in the Corsair 280X, which was interesting, um, getting RGB lighting to look uh, Christmassy was kind of hard, but we got there. Um, all right, but today we're gonna be building something different, but before we do that, it's been a little while since we showed off some of your guys' builds, so let's go ahead and look at a few. These are actually gonna be a few older builds because I actually had pulled some of your guys' builds out of the Discord channel, and then I didn't get another PC building video, video done back in 2019, and now we're here in 2020, so. Anyway, I'm gonna use the ones I picked before, so if these feel old, sorry. I'll be working on, you know, trying to get to the backlog and doing that. You guys have been very enthusiastic at posting your builds. Thank you for doing that. Um, instructions on how to post your build are below. Basically, you can join my Discord and post it in one of the threads there. And uh, I might show off in video. But let's go ahead and let's show off some of your guys' builds. The first one of which is from... It's a weeb. It's underscore a uh, underscore weeb build. Uh, and uh, it's a weeb basically was trying to do like trying to recreate his, her, in real life build. So said, closest copy of my IRL PC I could get in the game. Specs are a 8700K, which is apparently what they actually have. Uh, Asus Prime Z370, they have a, they have a A2? I don't, oh, Z370A2, I guess they have an A2? I don't know what that is exactly. Uh, GPU RTX 2070, they don't have a Founders. She has the MSI Ventus version, but you can see already the Founders version. Uh, RAM is four times eight gigs sticks of Trident Z RGB, uh, EVGA 1050 Supernova up from the 750 they actually have, couple Seagate Barracudas, a couple of the two terabyte variants, and uh, M.2 SSD actually has a one terabyte Samsung 970 Evo Pro. Hey, that's what I have too. It's a great drive. Um, and then CPU cooler is a Corsair H115 Pro, H115i Pro in the game. In real life, they have a 100i Pro. I used to have a 100i Pro, and mine died. <laughs> Woo, but I have something different now. Anyway, um, and then all inside the, Cor the Corsair Carbide Series Spec Omega, and uh, they actually have the RGB variant. Even cooler. So you can see here, um, yeah, pretty nice looking build, and if that's like pretty close to your real life build, you've got a nice in real life build, bud. Definitely uh, nicer than mine, so good for you. Props, sick system. Thanks for submitting that. It's a weeb. Next one, Angry Airy. You can see here we've got a kind of a black and red theme inside of the Antec Prism. No, no, that's, that's not a case. Wait, no. Yeah, the Antec P8 case, excuse me. Um, and Angry Aries said, this is my dream PC. Not exactly, but close enough. So we got an MSI X399 Gaming Pro Carbon AC. Uh, CPU is an AMD Threadripper 1900X. And uh, the Gamer Storm Fryzen Cooler, which I really have not really seen in the game much, but it's pretty interesting looking. I didn't know that Gamer Storm had a uh, Threadripper CPU cooler in the game, but yeah, pretty cool. Four sticks of G-Skill Triton Z, 8 gig, 3600 megahertz, two GeForce GTX 1080 Gaming. So that's the old gaming, or the old GTX 1080, uh, that's from MSI, and then a Seagate 4 terabyte hard drive, and the 960 M.2 drive from Corsair, and a few Antec Prism 120 addressable RGB fans, and by a couple I mean like a whopping seven. Um, to finish it off. So there you go. That's from Angry Airy. Nice build. Nice black and red theme. I like how the GPU and everything works in. I also forget that like that MSI GPU like S SLI bridge. I forget they have that custom one. It looks very fancy. It looks nice. So thank you, Angry Airy, for that one. And then our last one is from Sadal2080. And this would definitely be at the more high end. Uh, built in the Lian Lee Dynamic. CPU is a Corsair 9980XE. Good grief. We've got two Aorus. RTX 2080Is, uh, we got some SSDs from Corsair, and a bunch of Vengeance Pro, 8 gigs, 8 sticks of 8 gig 
uh, yeah, RAM sticks, and all on top of the ROG Rampage motherboard. I don't even know what the power supply is. It really doesn't matter, but that's a beast build. I love the Lian Li PC-011 dynamic case. It's the Razer edition. Really nice. I'm also, I think, like a sucker for blue themes or something. I don't know. Looks sweet. I like your water cooling line runs. Looks good. Thank you, Sadal2080. There it is. That's all of our builds. Like I said, those are older ones. I'll be going through um, soon and looking at more recent ones and trying to, trying to kind of do the best I can. It's so hard. You guys have so many builds in there. It's really hard to, to pick. Uh, it's hard. But thank you guys for posting those. It's awesome. So yeah, go ahead and do that yourself. Today, though, me, what I'm going to build is... Um, we're going to finally check out, so in the most recent update to PC Building Simulator, version 1.6, they added test benches, test benches, and uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna check it out. Apparently that's, oh, excuse me, I need a space, open bench table, what do you think, black, red, black, black, let's do it. Oh, it's so cute, look at it. So yeah, this will be really fun to try and see what like a... A uh, little open bench would look like it's in this game because like I can put together a PC in like Two minutes. Okay. I actually don't know if that's true. You know what I should do video idea Fastest PC build ever. I'm gonna time myself and see exactly how fast I can do it And I should probably turn off the auto screw Otherwise, it seems kind of lame. But anyway in this game I mean you can build PC so fast so like an open bench you're like ah, it's not that useful because like I can build them so fast but anyway, but in real life like cable management actually takes time and like things are much harder and so yeah um, open open benches and uh, test benches make a ton of sense because it's really easy to swap components super quickly and yeah but in this game it's not as super necessary but still super cool that they did this so let's do it I'm feeling I'm feeling thread rippery again I'm not sure why thread rippery ripper 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 um, yeah, we're gonna go pretty high end on this one actually. Dang, that is big. Okay, so that is an EATX motherboard, and it hangs over the side of the test bench, which that makes sense. Those standoffs are massive. Like, are those like an inch and a half long? That's so cool. That's awesome. Okay, great. Yeah, we are just gonna go straight for the high end here. Um, that'd be kind of fun. 2990 WX, let's do it. I spent all the money on my test bench. The actual bench is $200. That's a lot of money for some aluminum. I mean, granted, it's, it's quite nice, but... Yowza, that's a lot of money for some aluminum. Okay, let's open these up. Beep, beep, boop. Hello, are these opening? What? They like barely move. That's weird. Okay, I don't, I feel like that doesn't look like that in a normal case, but maybe... I don't know. It's also really weird to be building a computer facing down instead of the side. Like, I mean, in real life, like, I tip my computers over and build like this all the time. But in this game, you always build them from the side. This is so weird. It's not, I mean, it's not that weird, but it's kind of weird. Okay, what I'm really curious, can you, can you do custom water cooling? Can you? Okay. I mean, I guess let's try it. Let's go with this. Like, where... Am I just going to set the radiator on the side, or do I mount it somewhere? This is going to be... Okay, this is going to be educational. We're going to find out together. Right after I actually put the memory in that I spent all that time opening slots for. Um, you know what? This is just going to be business right here. Corsair Dominator, man. It's just business. It's business RAM. Because it's really good, but not flashy. But really good. I don't know why I like skip slots and just haphazard. I don't know. My, there's no, there's no rhyme or reason to anything really. All right, it's a lot of RAM. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of RAM. Could be a more, but it's a lot. All right, we've got lots of room for storage. And in the last update to PC Building Similar, we actually got a lot of new M.2 and two and a half inches. And actually, really just M.2. I mean, just a, an absurd amount of new M.2 options, actually. And some of them are very fast. I think the fastest is this kind of weird-looking copper heat sink. Yeah, NVMe from Aorus. 4,700 megabytes per second. Crazy. Crazy. And it goes up to 2 terabytes. Also, crazy. And overdue, but crazy. Can I not put it in here? No? Can I... Oh, because it's so chunky! Oh. 
Whoa, dude, that's so crazy. I mean, it makes sense because that's a ridiculous heat sink and keeping, okay, we cannot fit it on the other, okay. Wow, that's interesting. I didn't really think about there being a limitation there because of how chunky that heat sink is. Oh wait, the Viper is 4,800. It's slightly faster. This Patriot Viper VP 4,100. What? Oh, it's also chunky, apparently. Uh, I really wish you'd stop scrolling all the way up. I assume it's not any, yeah, okay, not any smaller. The heat sink, wow. Heat sink clearance on M.2s is officially a factor now. Uh, it's awesome. It's great. Did you? Nope. Okay. Okie dokie. Dude, I, maybe it's just like if they have a heat sink, she ain't going on. Yeah. Any of these that have a heat sink at all. Not happening. Okay. Um, there were some. Okay. So we got gigabytes, 1200 megabytes per second. These Corsair ones, I'm going to assume are too fast. Those are Gen 4. Dang, that's sick. Gen 4. Huh. I wonder if I actually need to use an X570 board because they support PCIe Gen 4. I don't know if that's actually necessary. Man, there's so many things we're going to have to test. Because I don't know how they're... I don't know how they're doing any of this. Assume that won't fit. Oh, that one's going to fit. Okay. Hasn't it? Okay, sure. I don't even know how big I went, but that's fine. We're going to do just a mix and match here. We're going to put as many different M.2 drives in this computer as possible. Uh, okay, 3250. For, yeah, so this one's a bit slower. This gigabyte stuff's pretty slow compared to the other ones. The X, this A data stuff though is pretty darn good considering it actually fits. And like, of course, we always have these Corsair ones, and we've used the T Force ones before. 2650. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just we're just gonna we're gonna do this one again. Two turbot, two turbot. They're right there. Okay, boom. Wow, that is. Look at that thing. It is just chunkzilla. That's cool. Okay. That's cool. I love chunky things. All right. Um, great. Let's do... I guess we're going to do this whole water cooling thing. We're going to try out some water cooling today. Never done water cooling before. Dude, that's crazy. The Zotac Gaming GeForce RTX 2080 Ti Arctic Storm. <gasps> oh, we got to check it out. That's super sweet looking. I think it actually is going to fit our color theme really well. That's kind of fun. Um, I assume here and here? Scroll. And there. Kablam. Oh. Dude. Live to game. Underscore. That's weird. Live to game. Underscore. What is going on on the top of this? What is that? I don't know what that says. Something boost? Power boost? What? What do you put? What is that for? Power boost? It doesn't actually do anything, right? Like, that's just completely for show. Ooh, dude, that's sick! And now we get the uh, the Zotac Bridge, which I've which was not in the game before. I don't think that's cr huh. fun. Okay, cool. All right, let's find a power supply. I'm also a little curious where that's gonna go. Um, FSP dagger. Oh, they show the SS SFX ones. That's cool. Um, we're gonna get a pretty big boy here. Gimme, 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 gimme. Are those are specs? Okay, cool. Gimme, 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 gimme. Yeah, Supernova 1050. That should. Okay, so she's just gonna kinda go under there. Okay, so at least it does bolt in. That's good. That's normal. Um, I wouldn't love moving this around. It's technically off the ground, which is kinda weird. That works. Okay. Uh, okay, I think we're. We're getting there. Cables? Okay, um, let's find out, huh? Reservoir? Where are you going to go? Uh, somewhere, it's not telling me. Okay. Wow, yeah, sure. Just kinda, kinda stick her on there, huh? That's a really long reservoir. <laughs> okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's try radiator. I want to put a chunky boy on just because. What? It, it's just. That's not screwing into any. What? Oh! They put like a, two little brackets? Nah, dude, that scares me. I don't like that. 
That just seems... I mean, that... Look, that radiator's huge. Okay, so that's it, though, right? Like, we can't do more. Okay, yeah. Can we do... Any? Oh! We're, where? Where are we gonna put this? Okay, yeah, so it's it's drunk. It's like, you can do it, except you can't. That's it? That's it? Okay. Yeah, this is educational. Alright, let's do... Plumbing. You know what? We're gonna go soft line, which is like pretty standard too for uh, test bench. Like, oh, what? We get to use? Wait. Oh no. Wait. This. Oh yeah, yeah. This. This. This uh, reservoir. We always use this top fit. I couldn't remember. Um. Okay. Not that this really matters. I don't even know which way is out or in. Okay. I feel like mm, doing this side. Eh, I don't know. Well, whatever. Okay. Okay. And you, and okay, and sure, and where am I going? What am I doing? I don't know. Okay. Oh! Why? W why? It, you literally had to go from here to here, and you went through the graphics card. Okay, cool. Why? How about this direction? Okay, I don't understand. Why? Why is this a thing? Okay, you know what? I'll do it myself with one rigid green pipe. Why? Why is this a thing? What? what? Even? Yep, right there. Beautiful. That's so weird. Okay. Again, this is like all just... We're just testing. I just really wanted to know how the open bench works, and I'm finding out. Okay, yeah, yep, yeah, that's that's a that's a fair point. That's a fair point. Let's just do this really quick again. No, pump not power. Okay, <sighs> whatever. Plug you all in. Boom, bam, bam. Okay, for real now. Let me have you. Where's it? Okay. Here we go. <laughs> what is this? Like, like, why is this here? <sighs> it's funny how the blue coolant and that green piping really just does not change the color at all. Very, very slightly. <sighs> We're almost there. Look at this run. It's like, I don't know what I was doing, because it's like, like, what, how long is this? Like, four feet? Okay, it's long. It's like, it's probably like three feet, two and a half feet long. That's crazy. All right. So, theoretically, we're, um, this is a computer now. A functioning, real-life computer. It doesn't really look, I mean, it, it, it looks like a science project, for sure. But, hey, I gotta know, how are our, how are our temps? All right, I want to see. <laughs> Every test bench needs rainbow. I don't even. It's not like really that. Well, actually, you know, it's there. The RGB on the graphics card is fun. Actually, pretty cool. Nothing on the top. On the back plate. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's see. I want to know how are my temperatures in an open air test bench? Infinite. Go. These are stock clocks. Uh, I did set XMP settings on the RAM, but you know. Yeah, honestly. Why are you so hot? Wow, that seemed. I was nervous we were going to blow the screen, to be honest. It was climbing. Dang! I mean, Threadripper. How many cores is this? Like, like 32 or something? So, I mean, I guess that's fair. Wow. Yeah, power drop. Yep, yep. Looks good. Looks, look, look, looks, looks about right there. Okay. Well, there it is. Our first build using the open bench table, but our first, like, test bench build since they added it in version 1.6. Pretty cool. It's fun to see. That. I mean, I figured you could do water cooling. I was just a little curious how it was going to look. It kind of looks like Medusa. Like, I... Yeah. It's kind of crazy. I mean, obviously, you could do hardlining, you know, hardline tubing. It just, it's just not super normal, but... Um, yeah, super cool though. Still, they added test benches. I think that's really fun. It'd be kind of cool to have this as an option if we just like want to mess around with parts or, um, yeah, it's kind of cool. So there it is. It's not nearly as pretty as your guys' builds, but uh, it, it it was interesting. So 
Um, yeah, there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, go ahead and uh, feel free to submit your builds. Follow those instructions down below if you want to submit your build through Discord. And maybe I'll show it off like I showed off the three builds at the start. And thank you guys for submitting your builds. But also, thanks so much for watching. And hey, guys, we uh, we passed 2,000 subs in 2019. I didn't think we'd do it. I'm, I'm amazed. So thank you guys again so much for your support. Flash was crazy. Uh, definitely exceed my expectations. And lots more to come in 2020. So thanks so much for following along. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.